What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. <sighs> Guys, this is going to hurt, okay? Because I-, I want you to think about you being married um, to a very, very beautiful woman at the height of your life. And I always tell you this, typically when you're in a long-term relationship with a woman and you know, you're doing what you can for, her, especially if you're a good earning man, typically the next guy that she deals with, you'll find out that you pay too much more, too much for, you know, it's amazing. Women will expect a lot of stuff from you and the next guy they deal with won't have shit. Or the guy before you they dealt with won't have shit. It always works like that. You know, you if you're a guy and you give women effort and typically like that, the ne- the, the, the guy before you didn't have nothing and the, the dude that comes after you won't have nothing and won't do shit for her. And you'd be surprised what she'll give the guy. A baby, whatever. Guy ain't gotta give her that much money. But uh, imagine this. What if you found out that when you were in love and married to a chick, that the whole time she was dreaming about carrying another guy's baby while you were out there working, trying to support her. Yeah, it's happened to some guys, right? Because it happened to Johnny Manziel. Now, Johnny Manziel was an asshole. He ruined his NFL career being a F boy. But he was also married to Bree Tiesi. Now she's this, uh, I think she's like a, a mixed lady and you know, she, she left Johnny Manziel for good reason. But what happened after which, what did she end up doing? She ended up becoming a baby mama to who? To Nick Cannon, a guy that she knows will never commit to her. A guy that she knows will never take care of her. But you know what she said? She said, listen, I've always wanted to be your baby mama. I've always wanted to have your kids. Okay. Even when I was married to Johnny Manziel. Now that could be a lie. All right. Now she was on Wild and Out too, right? But uh, <laughs> she, she always wanted to, to, to be with, with Nick Cannon. And I want to talk to guys real quick because so many guys out there are dealing with a woman that you feel is um really loves you, really cares about you, you're doing a lot for. And there's always typically a guy who will not do shit for her, but she loves him. I, I've been both guys before. I've been the guy that girls come back to. Uh, and I've also been the guy that, you know, was like, why do you keep going back over there to him? Okay. And guess what? It happens. Go look at every ex-girlfriend. When you leave them, who do they go and deal with? Either a guy they've been dealing with before, a guy that won't give them nothing, or a guy that don't have shit. And then they end up selling and having a baby by him. And then usually what happens is after that happens, who do they try to come back to? Now, Johnny Manziel ain't got shit to come back to, but it's what happens. They, they come, won't come back to you with the goddamn baby. Want somebody else to clean up the mess. Then they're mad at the guy who they already knew won't do anything for them. They're mad at the guy who they knew wouldn't commit to him. You've been screwing this guy for 10 years and you know this. And this is why selecting the right woman is so important. Chicks will have one good guy doing something for them and go fuck somebody who can't do nothing for them. The guy can't give them anything. And they'll come back to you, want to be in a relationship with you. And they're dealing with dudes all the time for that same sex that they're giving somebody else. Listen, listen to what I'm telling you. It happens every day, guys. And a lot of guys are overpaying, okay? A lot of guys are overpaying. Many guys are overpaying. You don't know why. Why am I overpaying? Why she don't like me? Because she don't. And a lot of dudes would, would do well. Let them go be with the dude that wasn't doing shit for him. They'll be happier. You'll be happier. Wanna go have a baby by him? Baby, well, God bless you. I think that's great. 
I think that's wonderful. Long as you leave me alone, I think it's beautiful. Okay? Then you don't end up like Johnny Manziel and you find out like, you know what? I married this girl because she was pretty. Really was nothing that we had in common except for the fact that she was pretty and she was a fucking party girl. Go figure. You want a party? She likes to party. You have a baby like this girl. The girl has no morals. She'll go out and sleep with any guy that would do something for her. That's most guys. Most guys are dealing with that sort of situation. Guys don't want to admit it. Many guys are dealing with that sort of crap every day. Every day, you know? Then you go find out who the girl's dealing with next. You find a lot about you find a lot about women by the next guy they deal with. The guy before you, the guy after you. Then you're over there looking like, damn, I paid too much. You're goddamn right, you paid too much. You paid too much. Okay. And then some of you guys are chasing after. Listen to this. Listen to what I'm saying. Some of you men are chasing some woman that is dealing with a dude who's doing less than you. He's not even on your level. You're begging her to come back and she can't even get nothing from the dude that she's now dealing with. But because you keep chasing her, she feels entitled. I wish y'all would just leave them alone. Let them stay with those dudes. Who got time for that? You want to have a baby by him? God bless you. I don't care how bad you're doing. A lot of guys are broke right now, right? A lot of guys are broke or doing bad. Let me tell you this. You're broke, you're doing bad. It's okay. But if you don't have her bothering you, let her go ruin somebody else's life. Some of you guys right now are being held back by the girls y'all dealing with. You are being literally held back by the woman you're dealing with right now can't do nothing for you ain't going in the same places that you're going they can't help you do nothing, but you're still dealing with them okay and if you're a young man you don't know how the world works okay you're gonna be messed up like johnny manziel is just a young man 10 years he'll come back and see that chick if he gets his life together guess what she will be the one messed up she will be the one jacked up should we be the one to toe up toe up family toe up Dusty, all right? Toe back. And a lot of you guys out there need to leave these girls alone that you're dealing with because they're holding up the future. They don't need to be there. They don't need to be there. Get them out of there. Let them go ruin somebody else's life. And when you see them, trust me, you'll be all right. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I already appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first come to the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at all time high. I'm out.